We had a need for speed. We just didn't know it yet. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Top Gun Maverick, the legacy sequel, bringing back Tom Cruise as Maverick in to test and train this group of Top Gun pilots for a near-on suicide mission, all the while coming to reconciliation with Goose's son, Rooster, who still holds resentment for him for things in the past, including his father's death, as well as reconciling himself with an old flame and coming to really learn more about himself and where he is in this space of the Navy and his own life. I will say that when I saw that Joseph Kaczynski was picked for the director of this film, that was probably one of the first great choices that they had for this film. Tom and him have worked together before in the past on Oblivion when people thought that Joseph had these really cool sci-fi ideas for good movies. I didn't mind his direction and his visual ideas for films like Oblivion or Tron Legacy, but he's just not a good storyteller in that aspect. What he is a good storyteller in is real life dramatic elements but being able to tell them in a very thematic way and it uses all of the experience and the elements that you can get from a movie theater we saw that with uh, only the brave and this movie does an exceptional job not only are all of the flight scenes in this film absolutely pulse pounding not only is there far more respect and commitment to the legacy of the first film and the characters that we got from those films not only is there actually quite a decent dive into maverick and who he is and this new role on himself the movie's really freaking good it actually beat my expectations and that is after hearing so many people talk so good about this movie the final act alone is worth the full ticket price some things that this film does a lot better than the first film aside from the advanced technology is that the final mission the final climax of this movie is what is being led up to throughout this is the mission that they're going to go on whereas in the original it was all of these guys just having big dicks and just being who can be the best pilot dealing with accidents and whatnot like that and then there just so happens to be these i don't know albanian terrorists who have jets and whatnot that just come in at the very end of the movie and there's a fight scene that's one of the faults that i had with the original film and the fact that right off the bat they are building up to this mission is a fantastic idea showing this ace who used to be the very end of the whole idea of the dogfight era teaching these pilots who have had nothing to do but outrun SAM missiles, which admittedly is definitely a task in itself, but having to actually have an actual dogfight with another pilot is something that they're not used to, they're used to bombing runs. So to see that mixing of the old and the new works so much better than so many other goddamn movies have done. Like, you know, this one right here, this one I've heard nothing but bad reviews. I will probably see it, but this is one that is using it for nostalgia factor. This is a film that's using it for its story basis and its entire motif of what it is. And then going on to the parts that got me just so jonesed, every time that they're in the cockpit and they're flying, it's just great. It is so amazing to see this, getting as much of this footage as naturally as they could flying through this actual canyon and whatnot just was so cool to see and it's exactly what made a lot of people enjoy the first one so much even though from what I remember correctly a lot of the flying footage in the original is actually just footage that the US Navy already had of these jets flying and they just pieced it together to make it look like a movie and it's just super cool to see it putting yourself in that pilot seat in those situations putting the audience in that is one aspect that I think that the director Joseph has really nailed down with this movie and I cannot wait to see what he does next in terms of building and creating a thematic experience in this sort of setting. Tom does a good job. He hasn't really done a character kind of film i don't even know when he's just been doing action movies which you know what keep doing them i keep enjoying them but i have to say overall that top gun maverick definitely deserves all of the praise it's getting it deserves the attention it's getting and you should go and damn well see it i unfortunately did not get to see it in an imax before it got kicked out by jurassic world de poop poop but if you have a chance to see it in avx or any kind of grade that is just below imax go and see it. If it gets back into IMAX, I will goddamn go and see it. The people actually clapped 
at the end of the film and normally i'm not too one for that but hey i'm not going to disagree if i smoked i would have lit a cigarette <laughs> it was that fun it was that enjoyable so in the end i'm going to give top gun maverick a six out of seven it's a very cool very unexpected but at the same time considering you seeing who is behind the scenes in terms of putting this movie together. Incredible achievement in terms of a very long overdue sequel. May not have as much character development as people would expect from a movie like this. But those are my thoughts, guys. What do you guys think of it? Have you seen this movie yet? Tell me in the comments below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this review, leave a like, and if you choose more, subscribe. I apologize again for the long break in between reviews. It's just been super busy, guys, between my film job and the wedding jobs. I'm only in the film job for about two more weeks and then I can focus entirely on weddings which means I can more so focus on this as well so I'll have more time. So again, I apologize. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Otherwise, that's all from me. See you guys next time.